Y mira lo que eres ahora, una mujer fuerte, poderosa. ¿No crees que esa bendición de mis palabras se deba compartir con todos los demás? Wow, isn't it bad luck to see the bridesmaid before the wedding? I've never heard that before. Have you seen Greg? No, not since last night. Greg wanted to get on a plane all of a sudden. We, we talked him out of it. He was pretty bummed about your boyfriend showing up. Well, Brazilian actor, singer, and television personality Rodrigo Massa has landed in Winnipeg to film the CTV television series The Spencer Sisters. And while in town, he'll be offering an acting workshop. Rodrigo Massa joins us now to explain how people can participate. Thanks so much for stopping by this morning. Hi, Nicole. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about what it's been like to be here and working on The Spencer Sisters alongside uh, Leah Thompson from Back to the Future. Oh, it's been amazing. Quite a ride. I, I, I got to here to uh, Winnipeg and my first weekend I made 17 new friends Aww. so my weekends are never boring you know sometimes we, we see some people that come from outside and they just stay at their hotel during the weekends but I love exploring meeting people and you know with these people that I met for example Jane Puchniak who's right here <laughs> we had the idea of uh, doing the workshop that we're holding on the 5th and the 6th of, of November oh that's very cool before we get to the details of the workshop tell me a bit about uh, what Spencer Sisters is what your role was and what people can expect once that does uh, make its way to our uh, ability to watch it. <laughs> Spencer Sisters is, I'm in love with this show. I'm in love with my character. I, you know, when I first started reading the scripts, I was like, this is kind of like Gilmore Girls meets CSI because they, they solve crime and everything. Every, every episode, there's a, a new mystery, right? And then, uh, but there is this vibe that it's, it's a small town where everybody knows each other. So uh, my character, he owns the restaurant, a Brazilian restaurant where everybody kind of hangs out uh, and I am married I have a husband whose name is Zane we have a lovely daughter and we're besties with uh, Stacy Farber's uh, character and eventually with uh, oh, Leah Thompson's character very as well. cool how does it differ from when you starred um, in El Dragon Return of the Warrior which was a show that made it into Netflix's uh, top 10 in more than 30 countries it's so different to be honest <laughs> when I got here to Canada I kind of had to learn how to act all over again oh, because really? you know telenovelas the, the soap operas of Mexico, they're so over the top. So yeah. the villain is like, you're never going to go into my house it's like again. It's like dial it back a bit? Yeah, I yeah. had to. Yeah, I remember my first uh, film that I did, Destination Wedding, the, the director ha kept telling me like, throw it away, just throw it away, throw it away. And I was like, what, what, what does throw it away mean? You know, <laughs> I just didn't know it. Um, but yeah, I had to adapt. I think, I think I'm getting there. I think <laughs> so. Bit. You keep booking some great projects, which we love to hear. And now you're giving back, especially um, to the community that has welcomed you so warmly. You're offering an acting workshop. This is going to be held on November 5th and 6th. Tell me what you're doing and why you wanted to do this. You know, uh, with all those friends that I made in the city, I, like everybody, I kept hearing, oh yeah, I've always wanted to be an actor. And I'm like, this is the best moment to do it because there's so much going on here in Manitoba. Oh, yeah. So many productions. The other day I heard something about like, there's $1 million per day like being generated in this industry here. Um, and so, you know, I kept advising people, for example, Jane, who <laughs> also told me the same thing. And three weeks later, after advising her and coaching her for a couple auditions, she booked her first role in a feature film. I'm very proud of her. Um, so I know that there are a lot of people out there who would like to do the same thing. So this workshop is for them. But if there are actors who are already working but would like to pick up some new tricks, they're going to help them learn too. Some cool so it doesn't stuff. matter if you have no experience or a lot of experience, you'll take yeah. something away. What exactly you're going to uh, work them through in the workshop? You know, just the the, the theme. If you if you could summarize it in one sentence would be just thinking outside the box you know like when when it comes to auditions uh, casting directors they see hundreds of self tapes or auditions every day so how do you stand out how you do know? you yeah what are some of the tips you share uh, do you want to do, do it? Sure, we have 30 exercise? seconds. Put me, put, me, put me to the test. <laughs> so you know, like you have to, for example, if you have a scene where your partner is breaking up with you, you can't just stay in the same, hitting the same key. You have yeah. to like change your strategy. So for example, uh, how, how would you get me to stay? How would I get you to stay? Yeah. I would say, don't go. Yeah. Please stay. That's a good one. And then maybe you can flirt with me a little bit. Rodrigo. Thank you so much. Please stay. Please stay longer. And then you can, you can confess something or you can brush it off, you know? I confess. I've not been faithful. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and and, and you, go, you change your strategy and you make it 
you know, you give it the, those. Okay, it's more nuanced, right? Exactly. It has to have layers. Exactly. Look at this. You already taught me something. I know that was terrible, <laughs> but if you want to learn and uh, more about acting and hone your your acting chops, this is the guy that will help you do it. November fifth and sixth, we will have a link to that acting workshop on our website. Thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Nicole. Loved it. All the best. All right, we're throwing it outside now. How's it feeling today, Michael?